Hi cuties and welcome to another Japanese drama recommendation brought to you by yours truly. Over the past couple months I have given you Japanese or the rare Taiwanese drama recommendation. But I'm going to be doing things a little differently from now on. By differently I mean I'm just kind of adding a thing. But I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. This week we'll be talking about, and I know I say this a lot, one of my favorite dramas of all time. This drama features not one, but two members of the J-pop group Arashi and actually a cameo by a third in the last episode. The drama I speak of is Yamanataro Monogatari aka the story of Yamanataro. It aired back in 2007 on TBS with 10 episodes. Starring as Yamanataro himself is Ninomiya Kazunari. It also stars Sakurai's show as the bored rich student Mimura Takia. And the drama also features other actors such as Tabe Mikako as the aspiring gold digger Ikegame Takako, Oshinari Shugo as wannabe popular kid Sugiura Keiichi, Shibata Rie as Ikigame Maria, or as I like to call her, my life coach. Fuki Ishikazue as one of the worst teachers ever, Tori Kyoko. Yoshizawa Hisashi as Mr. Make You Uncomfortable Man, Eihara Makoto. And not all these adorable children. There are so many characters, I really can't cover them all. Yamada Taro Monogatari is the story of Taro, who is a poor scholarship student who, because of his adorable charm and fantastic grades, everyone believes is actually a rich kid. While he's not, his best friend Mimura Takuya is. Mimura is also a bored kid with grandfather disapproval issues, so he passes the time by playing pranks and forcing his best friend to dress in drag. One of my favorite episodes. Taro doesn't really care what anyone says about him. He works hard in both school and his many part-time jobs in order to support his mother and six younger siblings while their absent father is away supposedly making money as an artist. Throughout the series, Taro faces various hardships in order to keep his family together while everyone thinks he's actually a super rich kid. Takako is one of the many who makes this assumption and falls in love with him under the illusion that he will one day rescue her from her life of poverty. But in all honesty, Taro just doesn't care about love at all. He's too busy working and working and working to notice while Mimura learns from Taro and gains the approval of his grandfather and learns what his privilege can actually do to help others other than pranks. It's a beautiful show, you will probably cry at the end. Now I quickly wanted to give you some insight on my actual opinion of the show with some pros and cons. Pro, it's got adorable chibi actors who know how to work people to get money. Con, I can't remember any of their names ever, I get them mixed up. Pro, a guy who starts out as kind of a rival character gets charmed by the Tato sparkle smile and starts to question his own sexuality. Con, his fashion sense, just honey. We need, we need to talk about this. Pro, we get a lot of Sakurai Show's little trickster slash smile and silent adoration of Nino's character. Con, I, no, there, there's no con to his character. It's, it's perfect in every way. Pro, Nino dresses in drag. Con, he looks better as a girl more than I do. Pro, the character of Ikigami Takako is... Wait. No, no, I just absolutely hate her character in every way, shape, or form. I actually want the character of Maki Natsukushi from the drama Hanari Dango to go into the Yamada Taro world and punch her in the face for being such a freaky stupid character. Bro, the show has a really awesome air guitar and theme song. Con, if you're a teacher in Japan at any junior high school or high school or even elementary school, they will play this song constantly for culture, sports day, the band will play it, Sometimes it'll just be on during lunch and it will get played over and over and over and it'll drive you insane. So there you have it. That's my take on Yamada Taro Monogatari. Overall, 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. So will you be watching Yamada Taro? Let me know in the comments below or on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. And I will see you on Thursday, cuties. Bye! Tabe Mikako as the aspiring gold digger Ikigami Taka... Ikigami. Tabe Mikako as the aspiring gold digger Ikigami Kaha. Oh my gosh.